and organic. Besides that, there is a comparison between alkanes and alkenes. For the reaction of each one, you will find that alkanes have three main reactions and alkenes have also three main reactions. For alkanes, we said that cracking, combustion, and substitution. While in case of alkenes, combustion also, polymerization, and addition. And the mechanism of reaction for each one, you will find that for alkanes, the mechanism, free radical substitution, and the type of vision, homolytic vision. In case of alkenes, electrophilic addition, and the type of vision as heterolytic vision. This is number one. For the reaction for each one, in reaction of alkanes, we said that the first one, combustion. In combustion, we have two main types, complete and incomplete. For complete combustion, it will produce carbon dioxide and water, like methane plus oxygen. It will form carbon dioxide and water. While incomplete combustion, it will produce carbon monoxide and water. There's an excess amount and there's limited amount. And we said that in case of incomplete combustion, may be produced carbon monoxide or black carbon. And carbon monoxide is a toxic gas that reacts with nitric oxide and catalytic converter to produce carbon dioxide and nitrogen. This is number one for combustion. Number two for cracking. In cracking, we have alkanes will change into alkane and alkene or alkene plus hydrogen. What is meant by cracking? To change long chain hydrocarbons into short chain hydrocarbons to be more useful. Long chain hydrocarbons into shorter chain hydrocarbons to be more useful. Why to be more useful? Because it produced alkenes that can be used in a polymers and it can be also as a source of hydrogen. This for cracking. Like, for example, if you have C8H18, it can be produced C4H10 plus C4H8, or can reduce C8H16 plus H2. Number three. Substitution reaction. In case of alkanes, you will find that all bonds are single bond. 
that our sigma bond is strong, head to head, linear, difficult to be broken, require more energy to break down the bonds. So for this reason, our reactions are, are formed by substitution, not by addition. For substitution reaction like CH4 plus Cl2 in the presence of UV light, you will find that it will produce CH3Cl plus HCl. And for mechanism of the reaction, number one, we have three process or three steps, initiations. For initiation that we have, green molecule will change into two free radicals. This is number one. So for the first step, green molecule change into two free radicals. Number two, propagations. We have two steps in propagations. The first step that this molecule will react with the free radical and then replaced each other to be CH3 free radical plus HCl. After that, CH3 free radical will react with the other one, Cl2, to reduce CH3Cl plus Cl free radical. Number three, in case of termination, this is the last step. In the last step, we have three probabilities. Maybe Cl free radical plus Cl free radical to reduce Cl2, or CH3 free radical plus CH3 free radical to reduce C2H6, or CH3 free radical plus Cl free radical to reduce CH3 Cl. In case of alkenes, reactions of alkenes, for combustion will be the same. Number one, combustion, same like alkenes. For complete combustion, we produce carbon dioxide and water and the incomplete carbon monoxide and water. Number two, for addition reaction. We said that in case of alkenes, you will find that the reaction will be by addition due to it contains by bond, easy to be broken, and then addition reaction takes place. And electrophilic addition. For example, if we have CH2 double bond CH2, for the reaction will be formed will be reacted with H2 and with PR2 with HCl with H2O acidified decimignate this is diluted by decimated cold. And then we have another one for hot. Concentrated potassiumignated hot. In case of H2, it means that adding H and H to be CH3, CH3. Br2, Br, Br. CH2Br, CH2Br, HCl, H and Cl, CH3, CH2Cl. In case of H2O, it means that H and OH, CH3, CH2OH. In case of diluted cold decimignate, it will be OH, OH, diol. So it will be CH2OH. CH2OH. And after that, in case of 
pot, you will find that we have three cases. CH2 double bond, CH2. And then, adding potassium manganate. This is diluted cold, and this is concentrated hot. In case of diluted cold, you will find that it will produce adding OH, OH to be diode. CH2OH, CH2OH. In case of adding hot, we have three cases. If we have C, double bond C, and we have two H's, it will produce carbon dioxide. If we have C, double bond C, and we have only one H and one R, so it will produce aldehyde, then carboxylic acid. If we have C, double bond C, and we have two R, there is no H's, it will produce a ketone. So it means that that we have three cases. It depends on the double bond. If the double bond carbon contains one hydrogen, two hydrogen, it produces carbon dioxide. If it contains one R and one H, it will produce aldehyde then oxidized to be carboxylic acids like primary alcohols. And in case of two R and there is no H, it will produce ketone. So this is like like primary alcohol and the other one is like secondary alcohol this is in potassium manganate so for that we can make a map for alkenes alkenes can react with h2 HX, X2, H2O, acidified potassium manganate in case of diluted cold and in case of concentrated hot, hot concentrated. You will find that in case of H2, it will produce alkanes. In case of HX, halogen alkane. In case of X2, halogen alkane. But in this case, we have only Rx. But in this case, we have Xx. After that, adding water, it will produce alcohol. ROH. In case of acidified diluted cold, it will produce diol. ROH with ROH. Concentrated, if we have C double bond C, that contains two H's, so it means that it will produce CO2. If it contains only one H, aldehyde, then carboxylic acid. If it contains 2R, this means that it will form ketone. This is like primary alcohol and the other one like secondary alcohol. As of the reaction, in case of alkenes, reaction mechanism of alkenes. 
for example, if you have CH2, double bond CH2 plus HPR, it will produce CH3, CH2, BR. How can we write the mechanism? For mechanism, we said that the type of the reaction, electrophilic addition, and heterolytic version. In this case, you will find that if we have ethene and then reacting with hydrogen bromide, at the beginning, we have Kelly Aris and the double bond to the hydrogen and between hydrogen and BR. Then partial positive to hydrogen and partial negative to bromine. After that, the double bond will be single bond. And then the four edges will be the same. After that, we are adding one H at one carbon. And the other carbon will take the positive charge. then the remaining is BR negative. So this plus BR negative and it contains long pair. After that, Kelly arrows to be here. Then the three edges will be the same and the two edges will be the same only BR, the lone pair, and negative positive will form a bond to form BR. In case of, if you are adding asymmetric reagent to asymmetric alkenes, like CH3, H, H, H and then adding HCl. You will find that this partial positive, partial negative, and then Kelly arrow and the other Kelly arrow. And then in this case, you will find that H must to be in the side that contains more hydrogen. So H this is the measure, explain why, the carbon contains more hydrogen and the other one will take the halogen. Thus, Cl negative with a long bear, after that, Kelly arrows, and then it will be like that, three H's and the other one contain H, CH3, and then Cl. For polymerization of alkenes, what is meant by polymerization? You will find that polymerization is the opposite of cracking. It's small molecules that is called monomers joined together. to form polymer. And then, for example, if you have ethene, it will be polyethene that only removes the double bond and then bond, bond, bracket, M. If we need propene, it will be CH3, this to be propene. If we need butene, it will be two CH3. At two carbon atoms, this is called butene 
and the other one is, is called polypyrethene. And then if we have a polymer and we need to obtain the monomer like CH2, CH, COOH, CH2, CH, COOH, CH2, CH, COOH. This is a polymer. And we need to obtain a monomer. How to obtain the monomer? We will take two carbons and then make a double bond between them to be CH2 double bond CHCOOH. So this is a monomer and the other one is a polymer. And we said before for polymerization that the polymers have problems that we said that we have three problems from the polymers that it contains landfill and non-biodegradable and also reduce toxic gases when it burns. So insernations and landfill and non-biodegradable. And it can be used in making plastics that are cheap in price and can be recycling and have low density and they can be used as insulators. <laughs>